Hello, I'm freelance ranger Elizabeth Tyndall and today we're going to be making some plastic bag kites. They're great fun to make and you should have everything that you need there at home with you. So to make our kite we're going to need a plastic bag. In fact I usually use several. We use some for tails and some for making the bag. Now you can use whichever ones you want, there's great colours and so on and basically we're going to be making them into a sheet of plastic. So we need some plastic, we need some string to make sure that our plastic doesn't end up flying off and going into the sea and light string is a good idea for this one rather than anything that's too heavy and we of course need our scissors to cut things like the bags and like the string. We need some of the sticky tape because we're going to be sticking things on and some of the things we're going to stick on are these skewers that we would use for things like roasting marshmallows, making veggie kebabs. Uh, I use a pen and it's a permanent pen because then it can draw on the plastic bag and it means that we can draw cutting lines and such things and it's, it's a good thing to be able to have something like that. You can also make a smiley face on your kite of course so that's always a good thing. And I'm going to use a hole punch because we need something to attach our string to the kite make sure that it isn't going to fly away. So before we start making our own kites it's probably a good idea to look at some that have been made before. What we've got here is we've got a kite that uh, is a handy pocket sized one and you can see that it actually has the wings so that they fold over, it's got that line of symmetry, it's the same all the way around and it's also got these long tails and that's so that the kite will kind of go at the right angle to the wind. It's got a tie on point so we've got this tying onto it and in fact this one's got a special little bar that goes across here to stop it folding up when we don't want it to. And if you're making your kite make it any kind of shape and so on but remember that we need to have that symmetry and we need to have it balanced so that it's not going to be top heavy and bang into things and it's not going to go sideways but it will sit nicely onto the wind so that we can really look at it and we can have real fun with making different kinds of tails as well. Another option of course and this one's quite similar to the kite that we're going to make is that you can actually put things in it. It doesn't matter the kite can have holes as long as the holes kind of are balanced as well so that we have that symmetry and you can see with this one again it will fold in half so that each side is the same and this time we've got the two tie points at the sides. Again nice big long tails so that we can have it not top heavy but flying into the wind and the tails are a great fun thing to do. If I go back to the kite that I've made you can see again it folds. We have the point that we're actually uh, tying it to nearer the top with lots of tails at the bottom and we have these rods we have one on either side to make sure that it's balanced with weight as well as everything else. So it's a really good kite it flies well and we should have fun making it. So we have quite a few different kinds of bags that we can get in the shops nowadays and these are all plastic ones now they've been used for shopping so you need to just make sure that they're clean as well and you get different kinds, you get these kind of slightly cheaper ones that just have one seam on the bottom and they make really good kites because they're quite nice and light. If you want a slightly stronger kite you would use one of these ones which has a kind of gusset on the bottom here, great word gusset. So we're going to use uh, this bag for just now and we're going to cut some bits off it just to make it into kind of one large piece of plastic. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this kind of centre line up here where it's been heat sealed to actually keep this up uh, there and make sure that your shopping doesn't come out of it. And I'm just going to use my scissors to go up it. Now you can just slide the scissors through so that they come out. Now I've made sure that these scissors are nice and clean and don't have any kind of sellotape or anything on them because that would make it stick. So you can see we can take a side off and we end up with a 
larger piece of bag. Now, the other side, we don't want to do quite the same thing to because we don't want two small pieces of plastic, we want one large piece of plastic. So all we're going to do with that is we're just going to take the bit that you can just see where your fingers go there. So just up to here, we're going to take that off. I'm going to use my scissors again this time. I'm going to cut and go to one side so that we've ended up with a piece that folds out there. So not quite an open bag yet because as you can see, we haven't opened up the bottom part of it. Now the bit here where the gusset was is actually going to be some of our tails. So what we can do is we can use our nice scissors that have no gumminess or anything. We're going to slide them through along that line and that means that we have a big open sheet of plastic and that's what we're going to make into our kite. With the tails being this bit at the bottom here where we can make them into the tails and the top bit being actually where the handles are. Totally useless for putting any of our shopping in now but great for making kites. So the next thing I'd like to do is just to clip off these handles. This whole bit at the top is actually quite heavy so we do need some good tails on these kites. I'm just going to snip all of that off. Now any of the bits that we've got rid of here we're not going to throw them on the floor or anywhere we're going to carefully put them into the bin or into our recycling if we have it and then we can do something good with them. I mean that's one of the good things about making these kites is we're actually recycling them. Now I'm going to actually turn this whole bag inside out because the next bit is a little bit easier if I do that. So I'm going to make sure that I fold down that line, make it all nice and kind of flat and everything. So the very bottom of our bag where we took that bottom piece, the gusset part off, is coming to here. So we need to be aware that that's going to actually be the bottom of our kite. I'm going to take a permanent marker. Just because it makes it easier, you can actually just use your fingers and mark the plastic instead. And what I want to do is I want to think about where that bottom piece is. And I'm going to divide this into about thirds. So we want to come about a third of the way down. And I'm going to make a line that comes across here. And then I'm going to put another line that comes down basically to where the bottom of our kite is. But I'm going to continue that line on. And this means that we have a kind of centre rectangle and then we have this triangle at the sides. I'm going to take my scissors and cut along this line. Now I'm doing both sides at once and I'm making sure that it's on the open side that I'm doing this. If I cut this on this other side that's folded then we have a little bit of a problem. So back into the bin with those bits and we're going to come down through here and we're going to go right down to the very bottom. So we now have a big flat piece of plastic with two triangles so that we've got those pieces there. So the things that we're going to need next are actually some pieces of sellotape. So I'm going to take a little while and make some pieces of sellotape. In total we are going to need one piece at the top on each side, one piece in the middle at each side and one piece at the bottom of each side and then we're going to need one over here as well. So we're going to need one, two, three, four times two. So we're going to need eight pieces of sellotape and I'm going to make each of them about the length of my thumb. And then I'm just going to kind of put them on the side here so that I can get them for when I need them. So we've got our pieces of sellotape and the first place that we're going to put these is actually on this edge here. So we're looking at where we've just cut and we're looking at the little kind of triangle there. Feel free to pause the video if you're wanting to like follow, follow along with me. We're going to put it on top and then we're going to fold this piece over so that we're kind of covering that little piece. Now what we don't want is any little pieces of sellotape that might be hanging around that we're going to snag onto the rest of the plastic. So I'm going to do that on both pieces. So using this piece I'm going to put my tape down 
over and round so that we've got the tape on both sides of the corner of the kite. So we've got our pieces of tape at the edge here and we're going to take our hole punch here and we're going to just slide this in. Now I always think it's a good idea to just check where the blade is coming down so it's not going to be right on the edge or way far in and then give it a good punch and we should have a little hole now. So a little piece that will come off there we just need again to put that into the bin. So looking at the next one we're going to put it in where the hole punches, check with the blade where the blade's coming down and try and get it balanced with the last one. Big punch and we should have a hole there as well. Now those are going to be where we're going to tie on our string and that will mean that the kite won't basically get away from us. So we've used two of our eight pieces of sellotape we're going to use the next three down here. Now we're going to need for this a couple of skewers. So these are just your garden skewers that you would use as a barbecue to make a nice veggie kebab. And the first thing is that they have a sharp edge, a sharp point on them. So we're wanting to make sure that that point is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them with my scissors just so that they're a little bit better. And I'm going to put these into my bin. Normally I would actually do that over the bin and I'm going to put these so that the pointy bit or anything that's left of the pointy bit is going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to put these parallel here and make sure that I have a nice line. I'm going to pick one of my pieces of sellotape and I've got it in about the right place so I can just put that centre line down. Make sure you press these on quite well because they might come back off again and we don't want that. I'm going to put this one right up at the top here. I'm going to put it overlapping the edge and then I'm going to fold it over and that means that the actual piece that I've put in, the skewer that I've put in, is not going to be flying kind of off. And if there's a little bit of an overlap you can just cut that off and again everything goes in the bin. So at the bottom we're going to do the same thing, so I'm going to use my sellotape lengthwise and just make sure that that piece would come off. Now, to make sure that we get the other one in the correct place, of course what we can do is we can fold our kite in half and we should have our holes in the about the same place. We can feel where that is, that last skewer, and we can balance this one up to be just in the same place. Again, we need to put that so that we've got our piece in the centre just to keep it where we want it and then we can work on the top and the bottom. So we're getting there with our kite. We can see that we've got a large piece of plastic, we've got a shaping to it now, we've got two holes for our line to go in and we've got two sticks and yeah, that kite should be ready to fly any second now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our piece of string and our string has to be twice the length from one of the holes to the other hole. So we need to just measure it once and double that up. Whoa, our string's going all over the place here. So let's get, uh, let's get cutting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through just one of the holes to start with. We're going to do a knot called a round turn and two half hitches. You can see that we've got our hole which is um, made a lot stronger by having that sticky tape on it so it's not going to tear when we've got our kite out in the wind. We're going to put one end of our string through the hole, back round and through again. So we just want a short end coming out here. What we're going to do is we're going to put that short end over the longer piece and then you can see we've got a hole here, we're going to put it up and round through. So it's just round turn and two half hitches. It's a nice little knot. We can put it over and through again because there's two half hitches here. And that secures this piece of string on really, really well. So you can see that we have this attached on both sides and we're going to have lots of space. Now, again, I was saying about this all being kind of balanced. What we're going to do is we're going to hold these two knots together and we're going to slide our fingers along the string until we end up with just a small loop at the end. I'm going to loop that over our finger 
and push it up through. So it's a similar kind of knot, but that means that we've got a place to tie anything else if we want a longer knot onto it. Now, you can go and fly your kite as is, as it is at the moment, just exactly like that. We haven't done anything with the tails though, and it's nice to have some nice tails to, to take out with us. To use these uh, flaps that we've got on our kite here, that came from the bottom of the bag, we are actually just going to cut those up into tails. So we need to know where they finish. If by the way you have anything here that looks as though it might tear, just stick another piece of sellotape on it. It does help. So we know that that kind of line there is going to be where we want our tails to finish. We could mark it with the marker pen if we wanted. So I'm going to just fold this up so that it comes a little bit short of that line because we don't want to go too far. And depending what kind of tails I want on the kite, I can just do nice wide tails or I can do very narrow tails by just cutting different kind of shapes here and different lengths. So we could have a set of narrow tails, a set of wide tails. We can even do fancy things by cutting at an angle so that we kind of get zigzag tails. And it's fun to play around with these a little bit. Maybe have something as well that we can use where we use a different bag to make them. So I'll show you that in just a minute how we can do it. You can see these are all kind of popping out. Let me show you what they look like when I finish this last one here. So when we actually use our hand you can see that I've got these tails that are zigzaggy. We've got these tails at this side which are nice and narrow and then these ones here where we've got kind of thicker pieces. So we can have all kinds of different tails and it just helps to make that kind of nice fringe on the bottom look good. So if we want to make some other tails, some longer tails, we can use a different bag. And this is one of the ones that I was saying earlier that we could make another kind of kite out of. Just one that's a, a nice really light one and is a good one for actually being inside. So what I've done is I've taken the bottom piece off and it gives us a, a tube. I can then take the bits from the handles off as well and then zip it up the side if I want to make one larger piece of uh, plastic. So we've got a big sheet of plastic and these sheets of plastics are great because you can use them for all kinds of things. You can make wind socks, you can make kites, you can make uh, the kind of celebration things that cheerleaders use. I'm just going to zip this right up the edge here so that we've got one nice long piece. Now using this I could make my kite tail so that they go from the top to the bottom, so across ways, and that would make really long ones, or we can go from the handle to the bottom which would make quite short pieces. I think we'll go for long ones, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and just fold it. So I'm going to fold it over and over on itself, flattening it out a little bit so that it's nice and even and that we've not got any kind of weird bits. Now rather like we did with the last bit, I can do this so that I can do wide pieces, short pieces, whatever. Now I've left a bit here, so we've got our end last fold up here. This is the bit at the end that we don't really want to cut through. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up through so that we're through all of the layers but not over that last piece until of course we want to come out and have our pieces. Now it's a good idea as I was saying at the beginning to balance so it's a good idea to do two of these so we're wanting to go to somewhere around here and we had four streamers on that one so we can make a similar piece on here so that we can have two wide streamers and then we cut those in half and we end up with another four streamers. Very similar kind of size to the last ones. We give them a little flick and then they come out 
and you can see that they look really good. So then we can attach those to our kite. And it's good to have a, maybe a contrasting colour or something with it. And we can attach these so that they're on the edges. Or we could attach them so that they're on the middle. We could put them anywhere we want. We can have as many as we want. I just did four because that's the kind of person that I am. So I have a spare piece of sellotape here. I'm going to fold them over so they appear to come from kind of one place. And I'm going to put them just below where my sticks are, I think. And I just want to make sure that I get both sides. There we go. So that I've got one. And again, if I'm doing one there, I need to do one on the other side so that we're balanced. And I'm going to have to find a separate piece of tape, uh, tape for this one. I didn't cut quite enough. And if I put this one here, there we go. Nice balanced kite that we can fly. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy making your own kite.